if you're currently living in a van, or if you're just researching vans, you'll know that there are not hundreds, but there are probably thousands of different variations of vans out there. The same goes for toilets. There are so many different kinds out there. It's up to you to research what's going to work best for you. But I'm going to cover this one, the most popular one out there, and I guarantee I'll show you something new. I'd never thought I would be saying this, but hey world, this is my toilet. And this is an outhouse. You might be wondering why I'm showing you an outhouse. It's because this and this are the same, except their size. And if you stay to the end of this video, I'm going to show you some amazing hacks, some alternative uses for this toilet. No, I'm just kidding. There's, there's no other uses for the toilet. These are all of the items that you will need. The first one is any kind of cleaner. Clorox wipes or anything else will be just fine. Eight gallon bags, liners. Those are hard to find sometimes, so I get them on Amazon. And I'm just going to be blunt here. I use Campa Chem to neutralize the urine smell. This is just a container that I put the Campa Chem in when I'm done, and I'll explain that why later. I will cover several different kinds of buckets. Not all five gallon buckets are the same. We have poo-pourri, we have gloves, and water. It may seem complicated with so many different items, but it only takes about three minutes. So this is why I said earlier that not all five gallon buckets are made the same. Most of the buckets you'll find from Lowe's, Home Depot, other places, they're not meant to have a lid on top. So sometimes it's a little difficult getting that handle around the top and you might pop it off at the wrong moment. Because there's so many different variations, there's a company called Reliance that makes one called Luggable Lou. That's this one. And they have that large handle that easily moves around it. It snaps perfectly and comes off easily as well. I've actually had different Lowe's buckets. Some worked really well. Some were very difficult. Some match up better than others, so you can get lucky, but also, again, you have that handle problem. I'm sure there are many that work really well, that are great systems, but for me personally, this is the best one. I even have van life humor videos. I know, weird. But you can watch me make an utter fool of myself and learn something new. And if you have any questions concerning toilets, and specifically only about toilets, then ask in the comments. No, I'm just kidding. Ask anything at all. Anything van related whatsoever, I'm here to help. I have a lot of free time now. In my previous life, it was work, eat, sleep, work, eat, sleep, five days a week, and then the first day off, veg out on the TV. Second day off, get a couple things done and go repeat it all again. In van life, I have five days off a week now. Measured out for this small bucket, you really only need about two capfuls. These come in many different shapes and sizes and amounts. They come in packets and tablets and powders. You just gotta find out whatever works best for you. Now for the container. I only have the container because I'm lazy. I try to clean it up and wipe it up and everything, but there's always that one little drip or two drips that's coming down off the bottom and it makes the floor gooey for later on. Next, you want to pour water in. I usually pour in between a half gallon and a full gallon of water. It depends on how much room you want to leave for how many days you're using it. I seriously recommend that you do all of these steps. I know there seems to be quite a few, and honestly, it only takes like two minutes when you're not trying to show it in a video. But it's very important. You skip one of these steps, and it doesn't work like it's supposed to. I don't know if you've seen Poopery or seen the commercials or heard of it, but if you get a chance, look it up on YouTube. The commercials are really funny, actually. But this stuff is a lifesaver. It's as if it was meant for van lifers. Where the Campa Kim covers up and neutralizes the urine smell, a couple of puffs of this leaves an oil on the surface that when you take your dookie, it just smells like lavender or jasmine. 
when I'm transporting it and ready to dump it somewhere, I latch it and secure it next to the van door. But when it's inside somewhere else, just make sure it's secured in all directions somehow. And again, there's a hundred different ways you could do this. Ideally, and more professionally, you would probably have a drawer that would glide out and go back and conceal it completely. And for your five gallon bucket toilet system fun fact of the day, one gallon of water is about 8.3 pounds, which is also 3.8 kilos. Places that dump them are easy if you find porta potties and outhouses, but also public bathrooms at parks, truck stops, rest stops. There's many places to dump them. Please, if you found this video informational, helpful, funny, if you don't like one of my tattoos, just smash that like button for me, please. It really helps.